ஐ ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு த பிஎம் டிஜிட்டல் கைட் டாக்ஸ் எஸ்டர்டே வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் ஸ்டேக் ஹோல்டர் ஐடென்டிஃபிகேஷன் வி ஐடென்டிஃபைட் த ஸ்டேக் ஹோல்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் கிளாசிஃபைட் தேம் இன் டு தி கார்ட்ரன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹை பவர் ஹை இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் ஹை பவர் லோ இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் low power low interest and uh, low power high interest categories and we discussed about a uh, little bit about developing strategies uh, to manage these stakeholders we started with the definition of stakeholders as well that is anybody who is affected positively or negatively by doing a project or by delaying a project is a stakeholder so that was the definition in today's discussion let us try to understand the linkages between organization structures and stakeholder classification predominantly we have three types of organization structures uh the most common one is the functional organization that means you have a ceo then vice president sales vice president marketing vice president production vice president uh, finance so it is a it is divided uh, function level so that is a functional organization so most of the manufacturing organizations or banks or hospitals uh they will have a functional organization structure then we have projectized organizations uh that means uh for most of the uh, project based organization that most of their revenue is coming from projects they have uh, projectized organization structures for example a company which is taking contracts on uh construction and that is their primary business so they will have a projectized organization structure then we have a matrix organization structure where uh the team members will have dual reporting for the projects they will report to the project manager and for their function related things they will report to the uh the functional manager Uh, most of the product companies will have uh, this kind of an organization structure where for the projects and programs the team members will report to the respective project managers or the project program managers whereas uh, the technical guys or the architects will report to the cto and the quality guys will report will have a dotted line reporting to the quality manager as well so this is a typical uh, matrix organization and within the matrix itself we have three types that is the strong matrix weak matrix and the balanced matrix in a strong matrix the project manager will have more authority than the functional manager in a weak matrix the functional manager will have more authority than the project manager and in a balanced matrix <coughs> sorry in a balanced matrix uh, both the project manager and the functional manager will have the same kind of a, an authority level coming back to stakeholder management so when we really look at the 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 broader canvas of the environment in which projects are operating we have predominantly three three main stakeholders like the the owner organization the project management the consulting or pmcs uh and the contractors and the subcontractors and the suppliers owners most probably they will be a functional organization you are doing a project uh now let us say within an oil and gas uh, industry or or organization 
predominantly that is a functional organization. So generally the owner organizations mainly it can be in a project and scenario there can be functional organization and we must be very clear that in a functional organization the project manager doesn't have a lot of authority whereas the functional manager will have a lot of authority so we must include the functional manager of the customer or the sponsoring organization as the high power high interest stakeholder and the project manager from a functional organization can be a low power high interest stakeholder but don't ever miss the functional manager because he is the high power high interest stakeholder for example you are the project manager to implement an ERP solution for a manufacturing organization. The contract may say so and so is the uh, single point contact for you from in a project scenario. So most of the contractors they will have a projectized uh, structure. That is, contractors and subcontractors, they will have projectized structures and the project manager will be very powerful. So you have to, at the same time, if the contractor uh, may have different functions, the functional manager there may not be very powerful because their organization structure is projectized. And if you really look at uh, the suppliers, uh, majority of them uh, would be manufacturing organizations so their functional managers will be very powerful so in a nutshell uh, see we discussed about uh, three types of organization structure functional organization matrix organizations and projectized organizations and uh, depending on the organization structure of your stakeholders uh, the stakeholder classification will change. So first we need to identify the stakeholders, then we need to analyze their organization structure or understand the nature of uh, their business and organization structure. Then based on that we should decide uh, who is high power high interest and who is high power low interest. Uh, so then uh, our stakeholder uh, management can be more uh, effective. There are other dimensions to stakeholder management uh, which we will discuss in the uh, subsequent uh, videos. Thank you.